So the UI is going to be pretty simple. We're just going to have the two scores at the top of the screen and we can you know, increment them every time that each player would score a point. Um, yeah, so we'll start off, we just uh, go to game objects and go to UI and we're just going to get a text box. And it's going to create a canvas which the text box like lives on. And also this event system which we don't need. So we can delete the event system. And yeah, you'll notice at the very bottom, I don't know if you can even see this, but at the very bottom of the screen this little new text comes up. There's a few little like uh, nuances with with doing the UI in Unity, like um, things like, for example, if I go to font size, and I, I can make that bigger and bigger and bigger, and then it kind of disappears. Um, what's what's happening is is we see here we've got like a, the width and the height of the text box, and and uh, down here in our paragraph section, the vertical overflow is tr at truncate. So if we change that, for example, to overflow. Then we can change our font size, we'll just keep on getting bigger. And now it's popping off the bottom of the screen, and we can adjust uh, whereabouts on the screen the, the text box is, just this pos x and pos y at the top here. So uh, at the moment, it's, it's kind of going to behave a little bit strangely still, on account of uh, in this paragraph alignment. What we want is we want to censor uh, both the, both the left-right alignment and the, and the up-down alignment. And it's going to start like, it's kind of like a little bit of, you know, like just fiddling around with the things. You want one little trick that I like to do, I don't, like for this, for this purpose works quite well. Is just set the width and height to a really big number. And what that means is it's not going to, it's not going to truncate, you know, we can set it to set the text to a really big size and it'll just behave more or less normally. Okay. And so, yeah, so maybe we'll set it to a cent, like a, I don't know, like 48, that sort of size. Um, move it, like so. This will just be one of our one of our text boxes. Um, it's not it's not really a very game like font as well. And how we can change that is that we've noticed at the moment if we go to uh, fonts, we go in here. There's only two ones to choose from, and it's, it says, "Oh, this Roboto one. This is actually from the AR Core. It's been imported from from the Google package. So if we want to get like a whole bunch of a whole bunch of new fonts." We can just go to assets, uh, import package, and utility, and this is going to give us a whole bunch of uh, things that Unity gives us to play around with um, by default. And all the only only folder that we want to import is going to be that fonts one. Okay, now now if we go into our into our font, we'll notice we've got a few different options. You, know, you can go through them, see what they all look like. Sure. Yeah, that's that's kind of visible. Yeah, I, I like this this Unipix. It looks pretty pretty game like, kind of what we want. Maybe change the color as well. Like, uh, I'm trying to imagine what it look like with a with a picture of the you know in AR, like how it's going to stand out from whatever background. We don't have control over what that background is going to look like. So yeah, there's just interesting things with this color. But yeah, that's starting to look pretty good. So maybe we'll just write in. Yeah, like this could be the computer score. So computer, like that. And I'll just, I'll, in the text box here, I'll just go uh, uh, computer, computer score. Okay, and also we can, we can now duplicate it. Yeah, that's control D, a little, uh, little, little shortcut. All right, and, and now, now we can have the, now we can have the player score here as well. And that's pretty much it for setting it up and just change the text to being like player. Maybe we want to start them off both at zero. And now all we've got to do is uh, add a bit of functionality to it. Yeah, and yeah, we can keep sort of playing around with it. Uh, you know, get it a lot of a lot of trial and error and a lot of like seeing how things look on the screen and then how they look on a phone might be a bit different. But yeah, we can, that's kind of the, the nuts and the bolts of it at least. Alrighty.